Hello and welcome. I'm Rob and this is a new episode from HDDR Entertainment. Some countries or events require S of Replica to fire in a semi-auto only mode, without being able to switch it to full auto. This video shows how to convert your GK5C or any M4 to a semi-auto only firing rifle. Although the modification is fairly simple, I must advise to only go through this if you're an experienced technician. Now let's first take a look at how the switching between safe, semi and full auto operates. First off we have the safety. When placed in a safe position the selector plate pushes against the front lever. This lever prevents your trigger from moving backwards and thus acts as a safety to your replica. The only difference between safe and semi is that the front lever is not pushed forward. When switching to full auto however, this little piece that sticks out which uh, by the way is your cutoff lever, gets pushed backwards and thus removes the trigger reset after a shot has been fired, which enables the gun to shoot continuously. Furthermore, a little spring is attached between the cutoff lever and the selector plate to keep everything in position. What we need to do to prevent full out of fire is cut down a bit on the selector plate, just enough so the lever won't be pushed backwards. This can be done with multiple tools, but I use the Dremel tool. Just sand down a bit of the selector plate and you're done. Once finished removing the bit, the selector plate can be placed back. Notice how the little piece sticking out does not change position if you switch between safe and fully automatic? Well, that's a correctly done semi-auto modification. Now let's assemble and see if this gun works like it should. First off we have the safety feature, doing what it's supposed to do, keep the gun from shooting. Next up a semi-auto, which also works like it should. And when we switch to full auto, we notice the modification works like it should, and we are ready for battle. This directly also marks the end of this video. Thank you all for watching, I'm Rob, and this was HDDR Entertainment.